Okay, gonna respond to the false accusations of accountable KJV against Brother Bob from the UK. And this is how this demoing your call acts. And I'm just gonna read a verse of scripture real quick. Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 17. He that speaketh truth showeth forth righteousness, but a false witness deceit. Okay? What was what's going on in this video right here is that Brad, accountable KJV, is falsely accusing Brother Bob of being a Jesuit. And this is how this deadly or cult acts. If you leave your cult, if you come out and expose them, you're a Jesuit now. Okay, I had some of them call me a Jesuit too, because I made videos exposing the deadly or cult. Okay? And it's kind of ironic because if you look at how the, the deadly or cult behaves and how they act and how they treat people who disagree with Brian, they behave just like Catholics. Okay? It's ironic how they're going around calling everybody Jesuits when meanwhile they themselves are becoming the very cult they hate. Okay, compare how the Catholic Church treats, you know, quote unquote heretics and compare it with the Denlinger cult and it's very, very similar. Now, I've said this in other videos that the Denlinger cult, they're, they're very anti-Catholic, yet they're behaving just like Roman Catholics in how they treat those who disagree with them and who break fellowship with them. That's why I refer to it, this Denlinger cult as a Catholic cult. So they really have no right to just go around calling people Jesuits when they themselves behave like the very cult they hate, the Roman Catholic cult that they hate. Okay, just super ironic. I mean... I'll say it one more time, they're behaving just like Roman Catholics, okay? They behave just like Catholics in how they treat people who disagree with Brian. They they emulate Brian to almost like a Pope-like status, okay? Brian, people call Brian Father Brian because he behaves like a, a Catholic priest, a lot like a Catholic priest. And then they call it behave a lot like, you know, faithful Roman Catholics to Pope Brian. So Denlinger is essentially running a Catholic cult. You know, I'm not saying Catholic guys and they're secret Catholics. They're Catholic in how they behave and how they act. So I'll put it that way. But here he is uh, falsely accusing Brother Bob of being a Jesuit. You know, and and just watch how he behaves. Like he just does this really weird laughter and just weird. I mean, the guy's got problems. I don't know what his deal is, but just watch this. The root of all evil, for for by which some coveted after have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Provided that the universal edifice goes on constantly increasing, what matters it to us what workmen or what in implements are employed? Yeah. Yeah. They will use certain workmen out there that are never going to go far, but they serve a purpose. Okay? They serve a certain purpose. There are some coagitors who are very good at agitating people. Aren't you? And that's all they're, they're good for. They're not going to get anywhere in the order. And once they've served their purpose, the poison cup, the leaden bullet, who knows? Hey, you. Yeah, you. Hopefully you'll be venerated by your most holy Roman Catholic Church. Okay, just take a deep breath. Calm down. Just, you know, try to control yourself, okay? I mean, what a child. Seriously, I mean, a lot of the, this Denlinger, these Denlinger cult members, these Denlinger Catholic cult members, these Denlinger Catholics, I'll put it that way, these Catholics who are part of the Denlinger cult, you know, a lot of the so-called elders of Denlinger's Catholic cult, they behave like little children. I mean, they're very spiritually immature and just very childish. I mean, come on, grow up, you know? Ridiculous. Oh, you shouldn't be speaking that way about someone who's older than you. Hey, he's falsely accusing my brother in Christ. You know, doesn't matter if he's an elder, doesn't matter if he's older, just because you're an elder does not mean you're above receiving reproof or correction, okay? That's definitely, that's how Pope Brian Dillinger behaves, okay? Just like any Catholic priest, when you try to correct Brian Dillinger, when you try to correct Father Brian Dillinger, he'll get mad, he'll say, he'll throw out his elder status at you. Just like how a Catholic priest would throw out there, oh, don't don't correct me, I'm the, I'm the priest, I'm the Holy Church priest or whatever, you know? Again, the Dillinger cult behave like Roman Catholics. That's why I call it a Catholic cult. They're Roman Catholics. That's all they are. But, I mean, just... Grow up, you know, seriously. Little child. St. <laughs> <Saint> Bob. <laughs> I mean, just calm down, okay? You know, take some pills or whatever. Take some, you know, get a glass of water. You know? Weird. <laughs> I can see him with that little stupid hat. <laughs> The, you know, he just goes on, just lets weird laughter, but he's accusing Brother Bob of being a Jesuit. Typical of the Brian Dillinger Papist cult, that's all it is. I showed the scripture before, I'm going to show you some more verses of scripture, okay? 
Romans 14, 5. A faithful witness will not lie, but a false witness will utter lies. Okay? Little side note right here. You know, the Brian Dunlinger papal cult, they complain about, oh, we're, we're getting so much attacks. Hey, they're bringing the attacks on themselves, okay? You guys aren't being persecuted. You're doing this to yourselves, okay? Brian is bringing the persecution upon himself because Brian is just puffed up, prideful, and arrogant, and he won't take correction or reproof on anything, okay? He, you know, he's always right. You know, he, he's, he's never wrong. And if you try to correct him like Tim did, like other people have done, oh, you're lost. We just have to determine, determine you're lost, basically. It's a Catholic cult, okay? That's what Roman Catholics do. You question the Pope, you're lost. You question Father Brian Dunlinger, you're lost. It's Romanism, okay? Proverbs 19, verse 5. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall not escape. Let's continue in verse number 9. A false witness shall not be un shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. Okay, may the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you, accountable KJV. You're a liar. You're a false accuser, and you're just a little child, very very childish, immature. You know, little, little, I mean, I'll, I'll leave it at that. I don't want to get too angry or whatever. But I don't like it when he's falsely accusing my brother in Christ. And some of the Denlinger, uh Catholic cult members, you know, I still consider them saved, but. They, they have some serious spiritual maturing to do. That's simple. They're false accusers. They just lie about people. They falsely accuse people. They're prideful. They won't accept any reproof if it contradicts something Brian said. You know, ridiculous. So don't, don't fall prey to this, this deadly right papist cult that it is. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.